Hello guys and welcome back to another video. In my last video, I got this old Dell Precision T1700 ready for a friend to use as a base for his small form factor gaming PC. In that video, I swapped the RAM out just to change one single spec, the density of it. It came with 1R by 8 RAM and I put in 2R by 8 RAM. I know that in more modern systems, this can actually have a pretty noticeable impact on gaming performance, so I decided that giving him the RAM that should be the best possible for his system would be a good idea. Whether or not it would actually make any difference remained unknown to me, however. Today, I decided that I wanted to try and test this, just to see if I could get any kind of performance difference out of the different RAM kits with the hardware I have on hand. I don't have any spare graphics cards that are really powerful, so whether or not there will be enough CPU load for the system RAM to impact performance is unknown to me. I'll just use this Quadro K600, as it's the beefiest GPU I have laying around right now. Even if I don't see any difference here, it'll still be a fun little test and there could always be different results with a different test or a different graphics card. Make sure to keep that in mind. I plugged everything in, set up a basic account to run these few tests on, don't worry I nuked everything and got it all reset afterwards, and got to installing some drivers. Since Windows had installed the drivers for the iGPU that I was using before I put this graphics card in, I had to download and install the latest drivers for the Quadro K600. Once that was done, I could start looking for a benchmark to run. I originally wanted to do 3 Mark, but after being unable to find a demo that didn't want me to log into Steam and wouldn't take a decade to download, I gave up and decided to try Heaven instead. This is a bit of an older benchmark, and definitely a simpler one, but it may actually be better for this older card than 3 Mark would have been. I let Heaven run on the faster RAM that was already installed on the system, and it came back with a score of 522. I then swapped out the RAM that I had put into the system for the RAM kit that originally came with it. After getting everything assembled again, I booted it back up and ran Heaven on it once more. This time, however, the results were... identical to the first run. Well, that's a bit disappointing. I was hoping to see some noticeable difference between the two runs. I do have a bit of a theory as to why this didn't happen though, and it's because of the GPU I used. This GPU is probably so weak that the CPU barely saw any load and therefore the different system memory didn't have a chance to make much of a difference. Oh well, at least it was worth a shot. Now, while writing this script, I had an idea. I wanted to try and run a different test on the system, specifically a memory test. I got a free trial version of IDA64 and ran it on the system with both kits of RAM. Sadly, we can't see the whole story here, as the trial version doesn't give us all the data about the benchmark, which is really annoying. Since I can't afford to buy IDA64 right now though, I guess we'll just have to make do with the read and latency numbers that it does give us. Since this test is portable and doesn't require any installations though, I could do this one in audit mode so I wouldn't have to reset the PC again. I first ran the test on what should be the faster RAM, and the only results here that really matter and that we can see are the 24,032 megabytes a second read speed and the 67.4 nanosecond latency. I then shut the computer down, pulled out the RAM, and put back in the kit that it had originally come with. After booting it back up and running the memory test again, this time the results were slightly different. This RAM was the RAM that should be a little less performant, and it was. The latency was a bit better by a smidge under one nanosecond, which is slightly odd, but the read speed was noticeably slower. This time, it was 23,830 megabytes per second compared to 24,032 megabytes per second from before. Whether or not this is within margin of error is debatable, but this quick test showed a near 1% change in read speeds. Amazing. <laughs> All right, maybe it is within margin of error, and yeah, it's not a very great difference at all between the RAMs. I wish I had a more powerful low-profile GP to test this kind of stuff with. One day I'll be able to get a 1650 or an RTX A2000 to test these kinds of things. For now, though, this is all I have. Are these tests useful? Probably not. They are nowhere close to comprehensive and are most certainly not executed quite perfectly. Were they interesting to try and run? Absolutely. I hope that you maybe found these tests as intriguing and fun to mess around with as I did, and hopefully you enjoyed the video. In any case, that's all I have for you today. I hope to see you all next time, and goodbye.